web sheets are a new type of application in Apex that offer a better solution to spreadsheets. When you think of web sheets, think online spreadsheets. Web sheets extend the ability to create simple web applications to everybody for creating and sharing data, especially your business users. Only with web sheets, you have the advantage of having all your data within a centralized, professionally managed Oracle database. If your data is private, don't share it. However, if you need to collaborate on the information, web sheets can easily be shared while maintaining a single point of truth. Once your requirements grow, you can easily transition a web sheet application into a traditional database application. When people first hear that web sheets are a new type of application coming to Apex, they often want to know exactly how they stack up to the existing database applications. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Building an Apex database application is very easy for an IT professional and for many power users who know about database concepts and are comfortable working within a declarative framework to create and enhance their applications. Web Sheets removes those prerequisites by automating the complexities with creating database objects and providing runtime UI capabilities to define other features such as validations, lists of values, etc. However, keep in mind that web sheet applications do have limited capabilities when compared to database applications, especially with respect to UI customizations and page control. What I'm going to do now is create a web sheet application. Going back to the Builder homepage and creating a new application, this time we'll select the web sheet option. We'll rename this application web sheet demo and we'll create it. As you can see, the process of creating a web sheet is very easy. And if you take a look at the properties behind the scene, when compared to a database application, this is greatly simplified. The reason for that is that everything is controlled during runtime. It's important to note, however, when it comes to authentication, you still have plenty of options to secure your data. I'm going to enable a feature that's disabled by default for security and we'll go ahead and run our web sheet. Notice I'm prompted to log in. And when I do, I see the home page for our new web sheet application. Whereas traditional database applications use pages and regions, web sheets use pages and sections. Across the top, we have a couple tabs. We can access pages, we can work with data sets, we can administer the application. We have some options on the right here to add new content to our app. And down here in the bottom right, we can also add annotations. What I'm going to do is add an annotation here, a file, and I'm going to upload an image. It's a clownfish image. You can see it now in the bottom right hand corner. And just having added an annotation gave us a new tab here. Annotations are a really big part of web sheets as you'll see here in just a little bit. What I want to do is edit this section. Our home page is a little boring right now. So let's modify this some. We'll change the title to Tropical Fish. And then in the content here, I'm going to add some new content. This is a clownfish. Now what I want to do is include the image of the clownfish actually in my content. And to do that, there's a markup syntax. And under help here, we can see exactly how that markup syntax works. And there's a syntax for various tasks. We have page linking, section linking, 
external URLs, files. This would provide a, a download link in the middle of your content. Images, which would display the image in your content. This is the one I'm going to use here in just a second. Data grid linking. We'll take a look at data grids after. Report linking. And finally, SQL. This is really interesting. You can actually embed using the SQL value tag values retrieved from your queries. So if you look at this sentence, we have select count star from emp. So this will retrieve a number. We have x number of employees in our database. Really neat stuff. Let me close this out. Actually, you can go to application content to find out what content is existing. And if I focus here, we'll see our clownfish image. I'm just going to copy that name, and then we'll close the help out. So the syntax looks like this. This is a clownfish. Apply the change. Sure enough, fish shows up. Pretty easy. Let's go ahead and add a new page to our application. Click on New Page. Call this one Employees. And the first section name, Employee List. For the contents, what I want to show you is that even with web sheet applications, you can still tap in to the underlying Oracle database tables. So we're selecting star from M here. Create the page. Here you have it. This is a very basic report, but it does allow for filtering. Next up, I want to show you a data grid. So, yeah, we can tap into existing tables. But with spreadsheets, we're able to create our own data sets, right? No different here. I'm going to select. Sure, go ahead. I'm sorry, quick question on the clownfish picture. Where, where is the clownfish picture uploaded to? OK. All data associated with web sheet applications are uploaded to a series of Apex dollar sign tables. Let me do something really quick. I'm going to navigate from the runtime web sheet back to the builder here. And I'm going to open up the SQL workshop and use the object browser to show you these tables. They're right here. So all of that data you can get into. Here's the files. Great, thanks. You're welcome. Let me start this back up. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is show you how web sheets competes with a spreadsheet. And that's done via data grids. You can create one from scratch if you like. They'll find all your columns and the types. But I, again, am going to choose to work with the data we have in this spreadsheet. So we'll just copy that and paste it in. And these are, of course, just tasks. So we'll upload that. And we're done. Essentially, what just happened was the data was moved into one of those custom tables I just showed you. Not custom, really, the, the Apex dollar sign tables. So it's automatically managed. We don't have to worry about creating additional tables for this. Now, by default, this data grid, you're probably thinking, is a lot like an interactive report. And in fact, you'd be right. Um, it performs a lot like them. You can hide columns if we don't want to see assigned to, we can get rid of it. But there are some more capabilities that you will not find in an interactive report.